Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Today, our topic is kind of funny and stupid and silly, but this is what the book we are talking about contain. So we have no choice but to be silly and to talk about something silly. The Muslims always they say to us that the Quran is an amazing book. The Quran contains science, miracles. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran. And when we check each one of them, we found nothing truthful in what Muslims they say or they claim. Not even a single one. Instead, we find that even the Arab in the time of Muhammad, they said to Muhammad the clear words, that your book is nothing but a myth the story you bring to us is nothing but a fairy tale stories we heard it before you muhammad is just a copy paste collector of a fairy tales stories exist before him and today we are going to talk about this issue if you are a muslim feel free to call me but not now i will let you know when you can call before we start today, I'm going to show you an example how the Muslims are driven into belief blindly. I will play for you a conversation happened between me and a Muslim just a few weeks ago. And you'll be the judge. And then we will start taking calls from Muslims only, please. Only from Muslims, not from non-Muslims. If you are non-Muslim and you call me, it will force me to block you so please don't call me unless you are a muslim and not now let us hear first this conversation between me and the muslim abdul and we will see together what's going on indeed we presented the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains but they refuse it how they can refuse it do they have a brain what do you mean the mountains they refuse the trust of allah any muslim can explain Hello? If only what is created from water is a living thing. Allah talking about he offered them the, the moon and the sun and the earth and the mountains, the trust, how you can offer them the trust. Do we have any Muslim who like to call? And here the Quran confirm that the one who accepted the trust of Allah, it was the man and he was a fool. You see? <clears throat> you trust Allah, you are a fool. Read carefully, I'm not the one saying that. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, peace and blessings, man. This is Brother Saeed. I've been hearing your, uh, your comments, man. I would like to address the Muslim. All right, my friend. Your go representative. Ahead. Go ahead. Um, what, what was that verse that you were reading, sir? We are reading in the Quran, chapter 33, verse number 72. Okay, 33, 73. 72. <laughs> 72, okay. Okay, so reading from the English to the uh, from the Arabic to the English, truly, we did offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they declined to bear it and were afraid of it. However, man bore it. Verily, he was unjust to himself and ignorant. Now, what is your question, sir? My question, if everything living thing is from water, Allah is offering the sky and the earth and the mountains a trust and they refuse. How they refuse? Are they, they refuse. Yeah, how, they, how, how, the, how the mountain refuse? <clears throat> well, the Lord says it right here. How? The Lord the mountain can, offered it to them. Yeah, but how you, are you talking to who? To the rocks? Well, the Lord is, is addressing this, the question that you're asking. You know, the Lord is saying, we offered 
the trust mm. to the mountains. So the Lord is indeed talking mm. to the mountains. Okay, and, the, know, and the, the mountains heavens. they talk back, they say no, we don't accept. Well, this is because of the responsibility, as the Lord says in the verse. Yeah, but this so means the, the mountains, they have a brain, and they, they knew what is responsible and what is not, right? Indeed. Okay, do you really believe that the mountains are, are living creatures, and they have a brain? And they yeah, control? absolutely. Absolutely, really? I believe. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, when you look at the, uh, the reality of um, birds and the way that they function and the way that they uh operate in terms of waking up the rooster crocs uh, how the, how, the birds, how, how the birds function well the way birds function uh, according to the birds in, in my in my area you know um every morning around five your time they start chirping you see around the and friday uh, around the friday they try to start doing what around five your hour the five hour is oh, okay. the time that okay. muslims pray mm -hmm. And, and so around this particular time, they always <laughs> chirp, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a design that Allah created mm -hmm. these birds to function on. So when the Lord is saying, I offered the heavens and the earth to take the responsibility of this trust, you know, we, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it these functions to decide. And it reclined or it, it, it uh, declined the offering, you see? Um, in which language? Matter, in which language Allah He offered them the offering? In what language? Yeah. Well, according to the Quran, uh, before my calling you, you read it in the Arabic. So you know, just translating it into the English. It so, wasn't, so look, so look like those mountains they speak Arabic. The language that Allah was speaking to the mountains. He was speaking when Allah Arabic. created uh -huh. creation. No, like when he when he offered them those things, he he spoke to them in which language? In which, well, you language, gotta, in which language well, they respond? Well, you got to understand, <clears throat> um, <throat> uh, brother, that this revelation called the Quran was sent down to mm. Muhammad mm. in the Arabic language. So we're understanding a story. Mm. So according to the story that we're getting this revelation, we're getting it in the language that Muhammad spoke. Mm. So you see, in terms of the language that Allah spoke to the yeah. mountains and the heavens and all of these things, mm. According to what we got from this Quran, we just know that Allah is the creator of speech. Allah is the creator of language. Yeah, but how? So, but, but how? How the how the mountain they speak? I mean, you see, the, do the mountain have a tongue? Well, obviously not now at this particular time. So what happened? They lo they lost their tongue by time. What happened? Well, just by looking at what they did, they declined the offer. So by declining the offer, the Lord took away some of the things that will be required to take so when he created them they used to have a tongue and then by time uh, allah he cut their tongue because they declined the offer so when allah he uh, off offered them that what does that mean he offered them islam and they refused to accept islam negative uh what allah offered was the trust the trust mm -hmm. that uh, the whole purpose um mm -hmm. of man on earth is to be a caliph a ruler mm -hmm. you see to have dominion over everything in creation so the Lord offered this responsibility, but in knowing the duties of being a ruler, they declined this offer, you see? Mm -hmm. And this is why the man today is at uh, a folly. He's at a, you know, um, uh, uh, as the Lord says, he is unjust to himself because he's forgotten how heavy this duty is, you see? Mm -hmm. And so now today, uh, the man is in a frenzy trying to understand uh, the geopolitics of governing people <laughs> you see mm. so you see the, uh, even the angels mm -hmm. when the lord had created creation mm -hmm. uh, told the angels i will create a caliph or representative mm -hmm. and the angels had questioned god think about the angels questioning the most high will you create something that will cause corruption the mm -hmm. lord said i know what you know not because the responsibility of being a ruler mm -hmm. is not easy as mm -hmm. you see the man is unjust so when the Lord offered that to the heavens mm. and they they, they uh, declined, it was this mm. knowledge, this information about what it means to be a ruler that they were not ready to take. I okay. hope that it can answer your question, question. my friend. You just mentioned the story of Adam and the angels. Allah, he said, I will create a caliph. What caliph mean? Well, caliph, according to my understanding, <clears throat> means a representative, a vice general, a successor. or Successor uh, of who? There's people living on the earth before? Well, the Lord, before the Lord even created Adam, there was, a, according to the hadith 
mm. that I that I can remember mm. before the Lord even created Muhammad mm. or the mm. first man, mm. life was already in, 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 in it was already functioning. It was already life here. All right. So, so in uh, terms of who the ruler was, who was heavens, who was down on earth? Was a man or was an angel? Well, Allah was the one keeping it, maintaining it, governing it. Okay, uh, let, let, let us focus on that story. The angels, they said to Allah that uh, uh, Adam would do mischievement, right? Indeed. Right? Okay. Yes. And uh, Allah, he told them, I know what you know not, correct? Correct. Okay. Which means he is confirming that they are wrong about right. the claim of Adam. But isn't it Adam who commits sin later and Allah kicked him out in a way and they were right? Well, the, the, the well, I'm in terms of in terms of the storyline. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. The storyline is correct. I'm not okay. going to deny that. Okay. So how how Allah saying to them you are wrong when they are right? Well, in terms of the uh, the uh, the uh, like, so when you're looking at a story and you know the the beginning, the middle, and the end of a story, mm. but the person who you're telling this, uh, uh, you're, you're 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 a director of a movie and you're telling uh, a a. a Someone that you trust. Hey, I got this idea about a movie, and they and they and they're trying to understand the end of the movie, how the movie is going to end. But they're not the director; they're not the actual creators of the movie. Mm. So they're giving me their own opinion about how the movie would turn out, but they're not even the one directing it. So the angels were trying to think ahead of Allah, but Allah knew the end game. So you see, yes, indeed, the story started off with Adam sinning. Mm. However, the end game. Is not what they thought, and that's why the Lord knows what they know no, not. But Allah, but Allah told them, "You know not about what about him being a sinner." Well, about about the about the reality where Adam, the Adam and the children of Adam, the end game. You see, yeah. it's about this but, is a story. But, but uh, Allah, sir. He said to them, He wanted to prove to them they are wrong, right? About yeah. what the the angel they would make, make one accusation that this person he would do mischief, and correct? Indeed. Okay. Was the was the angels right? Yes, Allah was wrong. How Allah said well, to them, "I know what you know not," and He wanna prove to them that they do not know nothing. And then to prove that story, He start teaching Adam all the names, and then He told the angels, "Well, okay, if you know uh, if you know better than me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> recite the names of those things I taught to Adam." And He placed the things in the front of Adam, and He told them. Okay, tell me the names of those things. They said, Allah, we, we know not what you nothing, we know only what you told us. So here so you Allah, see they testified, they testified to exactly what okay, they did know. Okay, but the story right? here is not smart, my friend, because if I if let us let us say to you, I have a cat, her name, I, I call her Susu. And I say to you, my friend, do you know the name of my cat? You say no. Is that a proof that I am God because I I don't know the name of my cat? I am the one who gave the name for my cat. Allah he named the things. To Adam, he taught him the names, and then he brought all the things in the front of the angels, and he said to the angels, "Give me the names of those things." The angels they said, "We give up. We do not know." How Allah He is proving to the angels that He knew what they knew not. If He is the one who gave the names, I mean, this is the most silly argument ever. Imagine, well, imagine, imagine. You call well, you call your son, uh, let us say Ahmed or Muhammad, and I see you in the street. We shake hands. You say, "Do you know my son's name?" I say, "No." You said, "Okay, I'll prove to you that I'm God. My son's name is Ahmad, but you are the one who gave him the name." You know what I'm saying? Well, I hear, I hear, I hear your your point, sir. But um, the reality is, when you're the one, when you're the beholder of information, and you only teach a certain amount of information to a creation, then mm -hmm. you know. It's just, it's just, for example, teenagers. You know, teenagers they think they know everything. They have this. You know, uh, this 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 obvious arrogance about themselves, where they think that they don't have to, you know, listen to the guidance of their elders anymore because of this information that they think they have. And then when something happens to them, then they realize, oh wow, I actually don't know so much. So the reality is, the angels they they thought they knew everything because of what Allah had funk put in them in terms of information. Friend, then when the Adam, angels, hold on, let me let me let me just get this. Mm. I mean so so then when Adam was created and when Adam was taught the names of everything, mm. the Lord then presented the angels in front of Adam and then questioned the angels. About so what? now it's about it's the a battle about of information. What? Question, it's a, question well, about what the name the well the well the names, the names you okay. see in so terms of what, the information. What kind, what kind of a smart exam that is exam to prove that I am the one who know and you do not know what about Allah he do the opposite what if Allah he says to them, okay, I will give you those things, give them names as you wish. 
and then ask me what the names of those things and then I will tell you that it will be a miracle but I am the one who named the things and then I say to you I know the name of those things this is the most silly argument ever are you getting my point if he want to prove to them that he knew what they knew not he knew the unseen he should do the opposite he should give them a I said okay you know what name anything you want around you do anything you want do something some tricks hide and seek do things I did not supposed to see behind my back and then ask me what we did and I will tell you that will prove that he's God but look what happened he brought a zucchini a cucumber uh, 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 a chair a table uh, a cook uh, uh, a, a couch and he start naming them okay Adam this is a couch this is zucchini this is a cucumber uh, this is a grape uh, this is a coca-cola this is Pepsi Cola this is seven up okay angels come here give me the names of those things and the angels like what is that man we do not know this is how Allah he proved that he is all knowledgeable absolutely I mean what you, gotta, you gotta understand they questioned the fact that they even questioned Allah was was the was that was the wrong doing the question the laws uh, and you know infinite intelligence was the wrong if, and, and, and let's just go to the reality of the angels the angels were not created with free will so that the amount of things that they can do like you had gave a scenario just go ahead and do what you want to do name anything do, like just that just imagining that just putting that in perspective it's impossible for an angel because they're not created with free will so they're they're, they're limited to what they can actually do my friend my friend my friend on, my friend my friend my friend my friend my friend hold on you are what saying you, wanted, you are what saying you, what you, you, you want to do what on, you want to do is you want to take the, uh, the, the the narrative mm. you want to take the narrative mm. and, and and you know ridicule the narrative but the reality is you are not a law i am not a law and i did not create the story the story okay, has friend, been created okay. and we just are you saying to me are you saying to me that because you don't have a free will because you don't have a free will you cannot give a name to something is that the duty of an angel no, no, no. This is not about angels. About anything. Free will. You said because angels have no free will, right? Yeah. Okay. No. So, can Allah give them a free will for one second and say, "Okay, go and name those things"? Can't He? But, but did He do that? Okay. What, what He the story proved nothing to us. The I don't want to. I don't want to say a word. It sound like I'm insulting you. We are discussing a topic. I hope you will not be offended. But this is very silly to say. I am going to give names to things, and you have no free will. To know those two things because you just told me they have no free will so how he's asking them what is the names if they if he knew already that they have no free will to know and they have no free will to name them they have no free will to know them they have no free will to think they have no free, free will to do anything because you just said they are like just, just like toys he's controlling them and they have no free will so <laughs> we stop here uh we will open skype if there's any muslim would like to call us as you see this is a very silly uh, religion the God of Islam is asking the angels to give him an answer, but they have no free will even to know. They have no free will to answer. They have no free will to, free will to know. So what the point of this stupid debate? Have you ever heard of a stupid things like this before? And what make it funny, the angels were right. Adam he did mischievement and Allah was wrong so naming your dog Susu and Mimi and Juju would not change the fact that Allah was wrong actually this argument here stay uh, continue this guy even later he says that when Allah he made Adam sin when I showed him that there is no free will and he agree he said Allah yes Allah he made Adam do sin because Allah uh, Adam was a victim because Allah he wanted to be known Allah made Adam victim because he wanted to be known have you ever heard of such a stupid religion like this I'm going to open my Skype <clears throat> in case there is any Muslim would like to call us and only Muslim please no Christians allowed to call at least for now only Muslims if you are a Muslim you like to call us uh, feel free and as you see, we have a topic, the fairy tales of Allah. And the Muslim is more than welcome to prove to us that Allah is not telling a free, uh, sorry, uh, fa uh, fairy tale stories. So if you are a Muslim, please feel free. My Skype is open. 
and I will be happy to hear you. Now, here, this is just an example of many and tons of fairy tale stories the Quran mentioned. Uh, let us see this uh, gentleman. He claimed to be a Muslim. Hello? Hello. Oh, this is you again. How are you? Yes, good. So, what do you think about Allah naming the names of things and He asking the angels what is the names? Wait, uh, wh uh, what's the topic? Oh, so you asked me to call you, but you do not know what the topic? Uh, no, but uh, I, uh, I was busy making a new account, so I called you with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I, I remember. I blocked you because you keep calling me, and I told you don't call me now. You remember? Don't do that again. Yeah. Okay, so don't do yeah. that again. If I say don't call me now, we are not done. We allow people yeah. to call when we have we have time to receive. You know, everything have a time. Okay, let yeah. me ask you. In chapter six, verse number twenty-five, and chapter eight, verse number thirty-one, chapter sixteen, verse twenty-four, chapter twenty-three, verse number eighty-three, chapter twenty-five, verse five, chapter twenty-seven, verse number sixty-eight, chapter forty-six, verse number seventeen, chapter sixty-eight, verse number fifteen, and many more. Keep saying. That the Arab they say to Muhammad, this is nothing but a fairy tales. Yeah. Why the Arab they say to Muhammad, this is nothing but myth and false stories and stupid stories, and they are fairy tale stories. Why they say that to him? Because uh, it uh, it looks like fables, you know. It looks like myth. Okay. For example. So is it is it myth or it is not? No. Nope. No. Okay, but you just said it is. It looked like fabulous. You just you are the one who said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For example, hmm. if I say uh, that uh, there was a flood, there was a flood uh, global. Nobody would have believed that actually. But uh, you know, it's what is in the scriptures. You have to believe it. Hmm. But yeah, no, but no, no. Actually, even science proved that in a certain time in history, the whole earth was covered by water and there was a flood. So this is not against science. Oh. Hmm. What about, uh, you know? Was, uh, let, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. When when the when the Quran speak about things, who is the witness for those stories? About which things? Anything, anything in the Quran. I mean, Muhammad, he was not in the time of any, and he is not from the people of Musa's. He is not even. He do not know even who is Musa is. He do not know what the right name of Musa is. They do not know his right uh, last well, name. Yeah, he do not yeah. know who is Isa. He do not know who is Mary. He do not know who is Abraham. Who is how Muhammad he got this information from? Firstly, Mu Musa was raised up in Egypt, right? Hmm. And Muhammad and, was an Egyptian. And okay, did you uh, do you know how they called Moses in uh, Egypt? They, they, called call they called him Musa. They called him Musa. Okay. Musa what Musa? Uh, what, uh, what Musa mean? And a uh, newborn. Newborn. What what, yes. what? what does that mean? Musa, in Egypt, they 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 gave him that name. No, no. What the word Musa mean? In Egypt. And uh, friend, what uh, Musa uh, mean? Musa. The, the guy. His name is Musa. Who is a prophet? Yes. Okay. What the name mean? In what language? Arabic. No, in the language, though, because this is not Arabic. This is this is his, his name in Hebrew. This is not a name in uh, Arabic. So, what the name or mean? Uh, it means uh, newborn. Newborn. So this is what Musa yes. means. Okay, where do you get this information yes. from? He, he he lived in uh, Egypt, right? No problem, my friend. This is not the question. He uh, but, but, but he is not an Egyptian. I'm asking you, <laughs> what what the name mean? You say the newborn. I say to you. What is that yeah, mean? Where, where do you get this information from? Musa in uh, Egyptian uh, Egyptian language means a newborn. Where do you get this information from? What do you mean? Sh search it up. My friend, <laughs> where do you get this from? No, don't tell me to search it up. So where do you get this information from? Uh, I lost it. I I searched it many years ago. You know, like some, years. you know, simply you see, you Muslims do not know. If we search the whole Islamic books, we will we will not find an answer. Simply, uh, Musa, Musa, Musa is the one we believe, the one who we 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 took him out from drowning or from the water. So someone we 
pulled him up from the water that is what Moshe is. It's Moshe's, you know, Moshe. Yeah. So, so you're, Hebrew, you're a prophet. He he copy names, but he do not know them. So this is explained oh. to us. This is explained to us that Muhammad is fabricating his own stories. Because if you cannot even explain to us where you get the names, it means you are fabricating your own stories about those names, even if those names are true names. As an example, Moshe, Moshe's or Moshe, uh, or Musa's is a is a is a real person, but Muhammad he fabricates tons of stories about him. And Muhammad, he never been in the time of Musa. So right, how you can me. trust Muhammad to be a person who tell you about Musa's and how we can confirm that the stories of Musa's in the Quran is correct with history? Okay, firstly, Musa in uh, in uh, Hebrew means a uh, pull out on something. I don't know. But in Egyptian language, mm. it, is, it, it has been dead for a long time. That's my friend muhammad is not an egyptian so why muhammad is uh, okay so what what, uh, what you see we, we'll go back again let me ask you as long as we are talking about Musa, in the quran it says that Musa's and, and the people of Musa's been misleaded by the samaritan do you agree with that as you see yeah. there's many verses yeah. in the quran speaking about that the you samaritan by what the samaritan by what by what actions well, it's a place according to the Quran. He made for them a big goat, a big, uh, big cow, and they start worshiping it. So, is it true that the Samaritan was in the time of Moses? According to your Bible, it doesn't. Okay, according to your Quran, it does. It does. Okay, yes. how this happened? According to history, what about what about history? There's no uh, evidence that he lives in the time of. Your no, my friend, we can search. We can search right now. As long as you are the one who said to me a second ago, search Google, yeah, because... right? You are the one who said to me, search Google. Okay, so yeah, because... if we if we search history, where you find what is there is there is not necessarily a religious historian wrote about them. You know, people who search and study deeply, and we will find that this is a big mistake. So why uh -huh. why your God Allah telling us history about something which is not true? Uh huh. Because mm. uh, it is in your book that it says that, that he lived in uh, it lived in another time. When you okay, it's not it's not that, about my book. I said history. Yeah, According to is, history, can you show me? Can you show me in the history what is the connection between the Samaritan and Musa's? If you want to talk about that, mm. your book says that uh, Haman was was in the time of uh, not another time. I don't know who I forgot, but. In the Quran it says Haman was in the time of uh, uh, Fir'aun hmm. and we found not only uh, that Haman, Haman is not even an Egyptian according to your Quran he's an Egyptian and he is the minister of, of the Pharaoh yes okay yes. so so you, yes. you agree you agree that your Quran is full of uh, historical mistakes okay can I explain, hmm. explain. there's, there's ar archaeological evidence hmm. that said that Haman in Egypt was the uh, stone? Uh, no, that, was that, his name. That name is not Haman. I, 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 I made a video about it, and this is a lie. This is not Haman. This but, is a different name. No, it's just, no it's different name. Haman, it's a different name. It's different name. It's different name. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, Haman in the Quran, the the one the one history speak about the one you are talking about, which is not his name, Haman. That guy is an engineer, right? What? Is, is he engineer or he is a leader of an army? Uh, I don't know. What but what what Haman what Haman he did the one you are talking about? He worked for Pharaoh. Mm, okay. But, and what, uh, my friend. Okay, and what what he worked for for own what his what his job? He was the uh, boss of the people. What I what guess. boss of what? What he do exactly? He he, he was the head. He was the. Yeah, you just uh, work with stones, you know, building the pyramids. That okay? Now here, okay, here. Don't you see that even your prophet he misunderstanding, and he claimed that it is uh, Haman or sorry Pharaoh is the one who built a tower, so he can reach to God. No, the tower is the tower of the Babylon. Oh yeah. So how this has became a tower of the hero of the Pharaoh? I don't know. Okay, so obviously this is a very uh, stupid thing, right? Oh, same firstly, time, same time, the Quran says 
that Pharaoh and Haman they have two armies. Yeah. Okay. How if if Haman work for for the Pharaoh? How Haman have an army? Um. Uh, because he also is a leader. He's a leader, but he is. Well, he sh should not have an army. But he's, is he an engineer or he is a uh, uh, an army leader? Both. He's both. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. But, uh, so uh, okay, but, we go back. We go back. Okay. So yeah, okay. Haman. Haman is the one who built the tower of the Babylon in Egypt. Babylon. Well, this is the tower. The Quran saying that all uh, 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 the Pharaoh he said to Haman. Built for me a tower. Yes, right. but who says that it is the tower of the uh, Babel? My friend, the story here, your prophet obviously he is mixing up the story between the Babylon king Babylon is, uh, and the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh he wanna up, he wanna go up to the sky to speak to the God. Do you see it? Who says that it is the tower of the uh, Babel? Well, there's no tower in Egypt about uh, to, to go to God. What tower? Show me the tower in Egypt. Which, which one? No, oh, it's uh, 3,000 years ago. Is it? No, gone? no, everybody knows that this is the tower of, of, uh, of Babel. No. Do you it's have not, a proof? Okay, do, you, do you have a proof from anywhere in history that there is a king in Egypt? He built a tower. A king? Is he, hmm. He's not a king. Pharaoh is not a king. No. Oh, oh, oh uh, yeah. I mean, you are you're confusing me because uh, the Pharaoh wasn't the one building. Hmm. It was Haman. He's not a king. Yeah, but the king is the one who ordered him, right? Yes. Okay. Where is the tower, and where is the story we can find that there is a Pharaoh he ordered to build a tower to to go to God? Uh, there isn't. There isn't. So this is a fabrication. Same time, I want to ask you this simple question. The Quran no. keeps saying the word Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Who, who is Pharaoh? Okay, firstly, I want to say that on the Rosetta Stone, it says that Amun Haman had that, the head of the stone quarry workers. So it did mention the name Haman. Firstly, uh, uh, secondly, the word uh, Pharaoh is Pharaoh. He lived 3,000 years ago in Egypt. But Pharaoh is not the name of a person. Pharaoh is a title. Who is the Pharaoh we are talking about? Oh, uh, you mean you mean the Pharaoh? It's, uh, yeah. it's the Ramses guy. How you know? Because he lived in the time of Musa. How you know? Because he lived in the time of Musa. How you know his name is Ramses? Because uh, that's what his real name is. I search on Google. Where you got this one from? From Prophet mean, Google. So you are saying to me the Quran failed to tell us which Pharaoh because now this is stupid to say the Pharaoh said, the Pharaoh said, Pharaoh said, and actually doesn't say the Pharaoh said, it says Pharaoh said, which means the Quran, yeah. the Quran consider Pharaoh as a name of a person. Oh, but it just mentioned one Pharaoh, and that is uh Ramses. Okay, but is it true there is only one Pharaoh? No, there's more, but uh, according to Allah, in the eyes of Allah, this Pharaoh is very important. No problem. He's very important. He had, okay. he had a big who, role. How Rebecca. we will know who is this Pharaoh? What? Who is this Pharaoh we are talking about? There's many Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a title, is not a name of a person. So when the Quran yeah, uh, says Pharaoh, is there's a mistake? No. There's a mis Yeah, because here we go. Who is this Pharaoh? Is he is, is that the name of the person or this is a title for the person? It's a title of the person. No, no, no okay. Yeah, Show yeah, me where it says this is a title. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. It's talking about the pharaoh in the time of uh, Musa, so no it's uh, definitely no it's, problem. It's definitely uh, Ramses. Okay, differently, different, differently Ramses. Okay, so different. Where you get this differently? Because there was there was a one pharaoh. That lived in the time of Musa, and that uh, that is Ramses. Mm, why? Uh, there's only uh, isn't it? The Quran says that this guy he died, and there's must be another under Pharaoh. How the Quran says that he died by when he crossed the the sea, and then there's only one Pharaoh. So in the time of Musa, should be more than one Pharaoh. No. 
Hidai already. What do you mean? So that's it. Yes. Since then, Egypt have no pharaoh. The guy he die, and then they have no pharaoh. Yeah, no uh, yeah, but but later. Not no problem. But this is in the time of Moses too. So at least in the time of Moses, based on your Quran story, we should have two pharaohs. Which one? Two pharaohs. Which one? What the name of oh. the pharaoh? The one who die in the oh. sea. Just one. What is the name of the pharaoh who died in the sea? Ramses. Where we can get that name from? Google. Google. Thank you very much. So, Muhammad, he is collecting stories that they don't make sense. And, you know, he just put them there. He copied from the Jews, whatever he learned no. from them. And he mixed up the story and he, he put it there. Now, no. if we go, if we go, hold on. When, it is did, the, did the Quran mention the Babylon Tower? I don't know. I don't think. No. Okay. Isn't it your Quran says that Allah He opened a school to educate people about magic in the Babylon? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that accurate? That the Babylon Tower is built by Allah and His angels? <clears throat> Where does it say tower? Babylon. Do you see it? The angels they came yes. down in the Babylon. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. What, what is what is the Babylon? What is the what is the angel sent down in the Babylon? What does that mean? Two angels were sent down in uh, Iraq. We know what is Babylon, my friend. Now I'm asking you, what it does mean that Allah He sent two angels down in the Babylon to teach magic? Yes. Well, yes they were teaching what? magic. Okay. Yes. What? Were... Where He sent them down in the Babylon? What Babylon mean? It means it's a uh, city, right? Babylon is a city. How, yeah, we, know? It's not, it's How not, we know it's a city? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not actually a city, but uh, it's in Iraq. But uh, I don't know actually what it is. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, Allah, he decided to open a school to teach magic in Iraq. Correct? School, no. What do you mean now? You just said uh, yes uh, ten, uh, five minutes ago. I'll just go with you. Yes. Okay. So Allah, He opened a school to teach magic in Iraq. Why in the Babylon? Why not in Egypt? Because uh, these people need to needed to be tested. Those people need to be tested. Okay. So yes. who, which people? The people in Babylon. But they are not believers. They are already lost. Test them in what? You 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 you, you test the believers, not the non-believers. Yeah, but no, they they were believers. My friend, they are not believers. Didn't uh, Suleiman uh, teach them the right path about God? So obviously, Su they Suleiman, were believers. he taught them the right way about God. This is in your Quran. Yes. yes. Show me where. What what chapter? My friend, what what does the prophet do? Teaching men about friend, God, Suleiman, right? Suleiman, he was in Babylon. Uh, well, well, what the fuck? Don't use bad language. You are saying to me, Suleiman, he taught them about God. Taught who? The Babylon. That's what you are saying. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Okay. So you are saying to us that Allah He sent Suleiman. He taught people about the people of Babylon about God. Are you saying that? Probably yes. Okay. Where do you get this story from? Google. No, no, no. Never mind. No. Never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, you are wrong. Okay, which we, we 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 take it back. So now, what the story? What the connection between Suleiman and the Babylon then? Maybe uh, people uh, believed in him and followed him. Mm -hmm. Believe in what? Uh, believe in Allah. Okay. So people of Babylon, they were they were Muslims. Some maybe. Mm -hmm. Because maybe. obviously, when Allah tests something with angels with black magic, they have to be Muslims. Uh huh. I mean that's 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 a good thing. So now what we are learning from you that Allah He tested the Muslims in Babylon. 
who was the uh, prophet for the baby loan the Muslim prophet there's no prophet so how do become Muslims I just maybe they heard about him and maybe they went to uh, Jerusalem and maybe they followed him and in, in which he says what he says mm. okay so now to make it simple for those who they are listening what we learn from them now that Allah he decided to send two angels down in Babylon and Babylon Harut there is their name is Harut and Marut and those angels they teach magic and based on the verse in the front of us before the angels they teach magic they might you sign a disclaimer that this is only a trial is that correct yes what is the purpose of this trial <clears throat> To uh, test them. Test who? The people in Babylon. By doing what exactly? By letting them choose the path of Shaitan or the path of Allah. Okay, but what what exactly this magic will do if you practice it? Uh, you, you you can do well uh, whatever you want. No, no, what exactly? No, it doesn't say that. It says a specific thing. It says it make you fight. It cause fight between the husband and wife and they get divorced. Is that true? Let me read. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So now any any fight happen between wife and husband in the world it happened because of Harut and Marut do you agree no no what do the, you mean no because, because of the people who learned magic oh because of people who but but the people learn magic from who they learn it from Harut and Marut correct oh but don't blame angels what do you mean if uh, if the angels is the one who taught us to do black magic so we can make a wife and husband fight yeah but they they were only a test I mean what kind of test is that I mean why you are what kind of God he sent two angels to open a school to teach people how to do magic and the purpose of this magic to make a wife and husband fight and get divorced yeah what yeah yeah what <laughs> why you are laughing and respect your God my friend yeah, Allah is punishing you. I know a guy, he laughed like you about the Quran. In the morning, he found himself look like Christian Prince. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so now what we will do? What kind of God he do such a thing? He sent two angels to teach you black magic and the purpose of them that a woman, she sh throw her shoes at the husband and the husband, he throw his uh, cushion at the wife and they start putting the hair of each other unless the husband is bald and then they end in divorce what is what is that will do to God what is what God is accomplishing yeah uh, it's uh, just a test what that test my, my friend what, what test is, is divorce is a sin in Islam no okay so what the point of this test is it's the uh, test for the people in Babylon if they would uh, accept the magic or not Okay, but oh, but the angels themselves accept the magic. No. Well, then, then why they are teaching the magic? Allah Himself accept the magic. Otherwise, why He is teaching? Who is the one who taught the angels the magic? Allah, correct? Allah gave them knowledge. Yes. Okay, so Allah is who rebooter? And, no, Allah and, is God. He can do whatever He wants. No, no. What God? Is good? Okay, He is the one who taught the angels how to do magic, and then He sent. The angels in a mission to open a school to teach magic when you enter the school they give you a paper to sign that you should not know you should know that magic you do you learn here is just to make the wife and the husband fight and this is a trial yes. is that correct yes okay so it is legal to do so if Allah is saying to you if you sign it it's legal so this is legal so this is a legal school open by Allah certified by Allah you join it you be you graduate as a holy booter and then you practice yeah, but, your magic and you make people fight wife and, and husband yeah but in the verse in the verse it's saying here that, uh when people would learn some people would most people would learn black magic hmm. then uh they would cause a split uh divorce between the man and wife but you can still do whatever you want okay with the magic. 
Oh, so you can do like it's it's not necessarily to do to cause a split. There's other yeah. things can happen with. It. So why the Quran yeah. saying it uh, uh, to make a. This is what the magic do it to make a wife and husband why he's mentioning this this only he did not mention that you can do whatever you want uh, which verse the verse in the front of you it doesn't say anything that the magic can do except making the wife and the husband split the Quran yeah but it. okay so this is what the, uh, the magic do it says here that the people will do that it didn't say that you need to learn this magic so you can uh, uh, divorce a man and a wife, right? So, this is what the magic can do that your skills here, your God Allah, He opened a school to teach the man and the wife a magic which caused the man and the wife fight. That's it, there's no other skills. No, okay, show me what is what it says. The other skills, you no, know, I'm just saying that mm. the most people who learn black magic mm. they were uh divorcing the man and a wife, that's mm. what they were doing, they weren't doing something else. Hmm. It says here yeah, they. So they, now, they, so now, all the wives and the husband in the world, they are getting divorced because somebody did black magic for them. No, just some people. Some people. Okay. Where we can go and learn black magic, which can cause people divorce? Do you know a place? Yes. Where? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Do you yes. think then, when the prophet was fighting with his wives, that because somebody did the black magic to him? No. So why he was fighting with his wife? Because that's what some people do. What, what, what they do? Fight. So Muhammad was fighting with his wife just for fun? No, for a reason. What is the reason? So according to you, when you have a, a fight with your wife, then you are uh, effectively black magic. I don't believe in oh, yeah. I don't believe in black magic anyway. What do you mean? I don't believe my in black friend, magic. My, 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 my grandpa did black magic. To who? He had nine children. My <laughs> to who? Your grandpa, he did black magic to who? Tell us a story. Uh, my, my grandpa, I, I'm not faking the story, but my grandpa. I know, it's true story. It must be true. I, okay, true story. Okay, go ahead. Well, my, my mother told me, she just told me that my grandpa did black magic. Hmm. He, uh, Shaitan told, ordered him to grab very weird things like the brain of a hyena or such things hmm. you know for example you had nine jinns hmm. uh are like his workers and after a while the jinns were beating him up i'm not even lying hmm. i'm you, not lying you, too bad your grandfather in his time there's no cell phone to take a selfie with the genie now do you <laughs> do, do you do you like uh, you, and you believe in the story your grandma she told you right no my mother your mother told you did she see the genie your mother i don't know only your grandfather he can see the genie no do you have any mental, yeah, 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 do you, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. have any mental history in the in the family your in your family or the, only your grandfather he suffered from that my friend uh -huh. i have proof i have proof it's real okay let me ask you then uh, as long as you are talking about the genie the quran speak that allah will punish the genie by burning him by fire he will send him to hell correct yes okay yes. but isn't it the genie is made from fire smokeless fire okay so how you can burn fire by fire because when allah says he created them from smokeless fire hmm. it doesn't actually mean that they are actual smoke when you look at them they are not so what they smoke. are so what they are made from they are like uh smoke but like they they also have a skin you know how they are smoke, the, but they have so how they have a skin, but they are invisible. What? How they are they have a skin? You said they have a skin, they have a flesh, right? Yes. Okay. How they have a flesh and they have a body, but they are invisible. And they can go through walls. What do you mean they are in uh, another dimension? What other dimension? Either they have a physical body or they don't have a physical body. Are they spirit? No. So you, oh. They have a physical body, and you are the one who said they are made from fire. Yes, but they are not fire. Okay, so now they have a physical body. How they became invisible with the physical body? How you can be like the angel, as an example, when he came to your prophet, he took a uh, he took a visible shape of a human being. Correct? Yes. Okay. The angel is made from what? Smokeless fire. 
The energy is made from smoke and fire. The oh, no, 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 light, light. Okay, so the angel is made from light, so he is not a physical being, correct? Uh, he is physical, he is physical. Okay, yes, the light, the light, which is physical, as you said, uh, it still can be invisible, correct? Yes, in okay. a, another dimension, other dimension. What does that mean? It's like, uh, it's like. It's hard to explain it's like in another dimension like it's uh, uh for example if an uh hmm. the angels next to me uh -huh. uh, right and left they are writing my good deeds and my bad deeds but they are still in another dimension you you, you can't see them hmm. but you can't touch them and uh, like that okay now according to muslims jinn the genie they can have sex with muslim women correct yeah uh... I don't know okay before we go there do you see your prophet saying that there is a prison uh, for uh, the infidel genie in heaven in hell sorry what read with me here it says there is there is sorry sorry uh, this is not uh, this is not about the genie hold on let me see what is the genie Can I ask you one thing? Sure, go ahead. Why are you not a Muslim? Uh, somebody put a black magic on me. <laughs> Isn't it your God? He said he is the one who decide our fate. Oh man, but, uh, just be a Muslim, you know. Okay, but isn't it your God? He said he decide this decide our fate. So according to Islam. I am a Muslim because your God and not a Muslim because your God he decide I'm not a Muslim. So why you don't ask the same question to Allah? Why he don't make me a Muslim? Ah. Hmm. If I ask you a very simple question, do angels have sex? No, fuck no. No. Don't use bad language when you speak to me, otherwise I will block you. Sorry. All right, sorry. Okay, sorry, no problem. Let us go here. I will show you something. And I will ask you to read for me. Yes. Is my screen showing for you? Yes. All right. The account of Harut and Marut. No, I'm. Uh, I just uh, sh see your uh, your YouTube channel. I don't see it. Yeah, right yeah, it's now. coming. It's coming. It's uh, it, it, that one. It came by mistake. If we go here and read together, we will find this Islamic website. This is uh, alislam.org speaking about Harut and Marut's story simply what the story here is saying that Harut and Marut and the angels actually they uh, when Allah he said uh, uh, you know I'm going to send uh, a guy to inherit the earth the angels they said to him are you going to send somebody is going to do mischief all right and then Somebody going to do mischiefment, mischiefment, and supposedly this is this is Adam. So they complain, you know. <laughs> you read, read the story or it says with me. Okay. Uh that every day and every night angels used to descend for taking up deeds of the middle yes. man of the residents of the earth. Yes. On seeing these deeds, the residents of the heaven and began to find fault and sin being committed by the doers of the earth like disobeying Allah and making false allegations against him they used to say that to Allah is high and above the dwellers of the world say about him at least a group of angels requested Allah O nourisher do you do you uh, do you not fawn upon your creatures or your creations who make false allegation against you and disobey you even though you have a forbidden them from doing such a thing O oh Lord your returns to them even though uh, all of them are you in your control are living life of ease due to your bounties so Allah willed and allowed the angels what is his perfect power and uh, how he issues his commands in the world and his creation the angels aware of his blessing 
as they have been created uh, uh, sinless and he made them uh, distinct among his creation and has made them ever obedient and has not given them the power of sinning then so he said to the angels select two beings from your community so it might I might send them to the earth and give them the nature of a human being and put them uh, and put in them desire for eating drinking etc and I introduce a uh, year in of these minds like the children of Adam then I will take uh, I will take a test of them in the matter of my obedience and worship the angels selected Marut Harut and Marut from among them as they were foremost in finding faults in a human in asking Allah so to make it short here the angels they complain okay you know you have you created those people you are not punishing them look they are committing sin and we are better than them etc so why you want to give them the earth so Allah he said okay I want to do this choose the best of you and I will send them down to earth and I will give them the nature of a human being and I will see after I give you the nature of a human being if you commit sin or not then the angels they chose two guys two angels their name is Harut and Marut and then Allah he told them now I have put all those desires and needs in you which I have created in man do not include anyone do not which mean don't take partners don't do commit church you worship me only in worshiping me do not commit adultery and don't drink wine so Allah he gave him three commands then he removed the curtain of the sky so that he make uh, his uh -huh. power visible to the angels he sent those two angels in earth yeah, I see. in the form of two handsome men and he made them camp in the Babylon do you see it yes okay so how when and they come hold on when they come when they came to earth they saw a very beautiful woman advancing <laughs> toward them she was fully adorned and beautiful uh, uh and the uh, and uh, 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 performed and her face was invalid you know she is wearing a burqa but she is showing her face now the two angels had thought about the women that they were forbidden from so now they start getting horny they discuss it between themselves and they decided to walk away from the temptation after walking a few steps passion overpowered them and they returned to the women and they asked her to allow them to have sex with her that woman she said my religion does not allow me to lie with men with, with you and tell you adopt my religion she's very conservative woman the and they they inquired her religion she said i can only fulfill the desire of the one who worship my allah and who take uh, and uh, and and who protest before my allah and by the way this is for translation because it doesn't say my allah it says my god because allah is a name for islam then and she pointed toward an idol so here if this is Allah is a correct translation that will make Allah as an idol too that is my Allah then the angels looked at one another exclaimed now to sin instead of one so now they are saying oh, oh we would not we would do now to sin uh, so you know they don't like that so now they will be polytheist and another is the adultery then they consulted again but desire overtaking them so they said to the women we agree were agreeable then she said as you prepare to bow before the idol you must first drink wine before prostration without taking wine is not recognized the angel again they consulted again and said oh now there's a three sin uh, which is adultery and uh, and uh, and uh, you know uh, worshiping idols and drinking wine you know and illegal se uh, sex so they say it to the women verily you have proved a big trouble for us 
still we are ready to do whatever you're saying they are so horny they cannot stop this woman is very very pretty so they drank the wine and they bow before the idols and they redied re re uh, to lie with the women which means they get their clothes uh, off and they get naked when suddenly a beggar entered the place a guy asking for money they asked him who are you and why you have come here he replied you are your conditions make me adopt your intention this guy is a smart and saw them getting naked and they have naked women with them you are fearful and frightened you have brought this woman uh, uh, to solitary place surely you are evil followers saying that and he ran away then the women she said to the to the two angels I swear by my Allah that this man knows you and aware of your place and he has gone to disgrace both of you and me which means he will tell the people about us so I will not draw near you you must go first kill him so now the two angels they go after the guy and supposedly they killed him now when they returned they did not find the women there and they found that suddenly their clothes had fallen down and they had come become naked they began to bite their fingers with their instance and shame of and sorrow do you really believe in this story uh from where did you get this story it is from your islamic books uh which book there is a, here we go we can find the reference all, always at the end of the the article here okay can you show me yeah let us see where they have the reference this is the reference And this is the note about the reference. Al Imam Hassan al Askari commentary Sunni and Shia they agree, and they are quoting for you the reference. The story is not over, by the way, because later uh, those two angels, the story continue. They step with the women, and she told yes, them, yes. "I will, I will." Uh, I will uh, you know I will sleep with you if you give me the password to go to heaven and uh, you know if you do that I will sleep with you so they gave her the password to go to heaven and when she went to heaven up to heaven Allah he heard the news and Allah he cursed her and he made her the star Venus or the planet Venus oh, what yeah. do you think Yeah, man. But, uh, didn't it say under the story that many Sunni, Sunnis and Shia denies this story? Many Sunni, yeah, they, you you might deny it too now because this is stupid, right? Mm, yeah, but is this story in a biography, hadith, or anything? Okay, but is this is this a story a contradiction with the Quran? Uh, no, actually, no. Okay, so Allah He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. No, but I don't believe in this story then hmm. if this story is not I need evidence that this story is it's really true hmm. okay so how you can find any evidence about something is it true in the Quran as an example how we can find the story of Harut and Marut to be true because now you just said you cannot believe in anything unless it is true correct yeah. okay and, and unless you have uh, evidence what is the evidence that there's a guy his name is Harut no, I'm not saying I don't believe the story. I'm saying that I don't believe this is according to the Islamic sources. Okay. Ayashi has reported, read with me. This is one of your scholars, has reported with another Hold chain. On. Hold on. With another chain, once Amir al Mu'minin, Ali, was giving a sermon and etc. This is uh, Ali is talking here. This, uh, so he said, Abdullah ibn al Kawad said, enlighten us about the red star that is venus he said once allah almighty made the angel see the conditions of a human being 
who were busy disobeying Allah the angels named Harut and Marut and said these are the people who got great uh, uh, grandfather Adam was one whom who had uh, you had created with you hand it was uh, and, and sorry hand, hand uh, with your hand and it was he whom you had asked the angels to bow before now he are they are disobeying you uh, like this Allah replied if I send you down to the earth with awareness of passion and desire you will also do sin so here this is Ali confirming the story and then look what happened mm -hmm. this this star Venus was a very beautiful woman she had gone to one of those two angels for obtaining some kind of decisions at the very first sight of her the angels fell in love with her and told her the truth with uh, 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 the truth is with you and my judgment will uh, will be forever so he's like they told her secrets you know secret they should not share so when you gave a control over you the women pro promised to do so and to fix time for them to meet to have sex then when she went to the uh, other angel the same thing happened so she spoke to every angel alone then when both angels reach venus at the appoint appointed time and saw one another their head bowed in shame so now suppose he was uh, uh, telling everyone she will sleep with him but she did not the other one that i'm going to make exposure to the other one so everyone like supposed to, he would do it in private but soon decency went away from them and they said to one another i have come here for the same purpose for which you have come both asked the women to allow them to have sex with her she made them prostrate before her idol and made them drink wine uh, get a bigger uh, a bigger killed by them and then look what happened and uh, she told them finally told them she will not be pleased with them until they teach her the way going up to heaven now these two angels used to decide people dispute during the day and go up to heaven at night so they are the one who have the keys for heaven they have like a transportation flying car mm. they refused to teach the women how to go to heaven and she returned did not fulfill their desire so she refused to take off her panty at least the angels agreed that to, to the last which of the women also and taught her to go up to heaven so at the end they have no choice but to tell her to go to heaven in order to experiment she uttered the words taught by them at once reach the heaven so she said like shangalu shakalu the words they taught her the password shakalu shakalu and she is flying now so she reached the heaven while the two stood wide-eyed like what she just go to heaven Allah turned the women into the form of a star do you see it yes okay is that a fairy tale story or this is a true story it's an uh, interesting story but is it fairy like tale it. stories or true story uh, it can be true it can be true it's possible it's still for you it's possible yeah okay well, Venus, so you you you, you agree that yeah. Venus was a real woman and uh, the angels they have sex with her and then Allah okay. he cursed her and he made her a star let, let, let me just tell you this if Allah wants to make a stone like a real uh, person mm. and he can the stone can walk to me Allah can do that mm. if Allah wants me and my uh, foot uh, to have a mouth and talk he can do that he's God he can do whatever he wants mm. okay. so then no, nothing according to God is uh, very tales uh-huh okay that's a good thing actually that's a I, I like the the way you explained to me so Allah he uh, he made this star Venus which we know which is coming from the Greek mythology uh, it's not a mythology it's a true story uh, if so this the, is, uh, the Greek they are not lying when they say there's a woman and her name is Venus and she was so beautiful and she is a star the god of love and the god of sex the god of sex yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. What? Who is Venus? Who is Venus? 
Uh, you see this uh, woman? This woman, which, she offered herself for sex. In, in uh, which story is this uh, book? In, in which book is this story? Well, here, the, the, here we go. I mean, I can give you the link. You can search the, the story by yourself. Al Imam Al Askari, uh, Imam Ali. Uh, and then it, like the same chapter about Harut we are this is an interpretation of the of the story of Harut and Marut the same verse we are talking about this interpretation you see it says why explaining this verse with Imam al Hassan al Askari so if you want to read about this story you go to Imam al Hassan al Askari interpretation he said Imam al Sadiq said after the time of Noah many people be, began to deceive another and the magic of secret blah 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 and you can read the story so I mean this is what you Muslims believe. It's not my. Uh, it's not my. Uh, it's not my. Me. I'm. I'm not making things up, my friend. This is your belief. Do you believe this story to be authentic in our religion? I believe there's nothing authentic, authentic in your religion. This is the whole point. I'm saying all of Islam is nothing but a myth. Oh. Did you notice? All of Islam is a myth. So nothing authentic in your religion. As an example, what about the Quran? When the Quran is say speak about the flying carpet to Suleiman. Yes. You believe in the flying carpet? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Why you believe in the flying carpet story? Because Allah says it. Okay. And why Allah gave uh, Suleiman a flying carpet? Uh, I don't know the story behind Suleiman and Allah and, and the flying carpet. I don't know that. Well, we can go and check it out. Okay. You show me the verse. Well, the verse, yeah. We will go to verse. We will go to the verse, and we will go to the to the interpretation too. Because, as you know, the Quran always is a, is a plain book; doesn't say anything. So we have to go to chapter twenty-one, verse number 82, 81. Yeah, but uh, why aren't you Muslim? Why I'm not Muslim? Yes. I'm afraid that Allah will make my penis endless. This is scary, you know. Don't you think this is a yeah. fairy tale story too? Don't you think yeah, this but, is a uh, mess? Don't you think this yeah, is yeah, a myth to, to say to somebody, "I will make your penis endless"? Yeah, but uh, are you born? Are you born Muslim? According to your prophet, I was born Muslim. Your okay, prophet and says so. According to you, hmm? and according to you, are you born Muslim? Uh, according to me, I never been stupid all my life. Yeah. So are I you born been, Christian? So I never been Muslim. For sure, you know, I never be Muslim. To be Muslim, to have to be stupid, officially certified one. So, let us read together. Are you born is, Christian? Don't change topic. This is uh, we believe that you have to be reborn Christian, not born Christian, which means you have to accept the Messiah and believe in Him, and that will make you now born again with, with the Messiah. So, the first yeah. birth, you are just born as a creature who is just like a goat. You are just a child, nothing. You know, you can eat dirt. So, in order to be Christian you have to be born again with the Messiah now read with me carefully this is your Quran is speaking about the flying carpet of uh, of Suleiman this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir and to Suleiman we subjugated the wind strongly ragging why why Ibn Kathir just show me Quran well, we show in Quran here with Quran in front of us what is Suleiman or Rihu Asifa see if I tell you the story, you will tell me where it's coming from. The same as we did with that one, right? This is where the story. So the, you, must, you Muslims, you tell me where the story is coming from. Now, and to Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strongly. Ragging means we subjugated strong wind to Suleiman. So Suleiman have a control of the wind. Running by his command toward the land which has we had blessed. So here, Tajribi Amrihi Ilal Ard, Lati Barak Nafi had Quran. And we are all knowing he had a mat made of wood which he would place all the equipment of his kingship horses camels tents and troops and then he would command the wind to carry it and he would go and uh, underneath and it would uh, carry him loft shading him and protecting him from the heat until it reached wherever he wanted to go in the land do you see it what do you think about yes. this? Is that a fairy tale story or this is true? It's uh, true. It is true. So you don't have yes. a doubt that this is not a true story. You believe that this is really real. Yes, of course. Or else I'm not a Muslim. Okay. And now, by the way, in the interpretation, it says that the flying carpet can fit for 600,000 chairs. Yeah. 
why it's so big uh, you see, look he put the tents he put the camels he put the horses he put the animals he put the troops I mean this is a huge I mean this is maybe like a, a hundred by hundred kilometer wide yeah okay and this is true yeah. well you are laughing show respect to your prophet my friend Did you decide to leave Islam now or what? Hell no, no. Hmm? No, no. What do you mean, no, no, no? Well, you are laughing already. Oh. Everybody heard you laughing. You are laughing at the Quran. Aren't you laughing at the Quran? No, I'm, uh, I'm laughing at you. Why you are laughing at me? Because I. I'm starting to realize how bad you will be fucked up in uh, in don't the use bad language. Don't be don't use bad language. Sorry. Don't worry about me. What will happen to me in the hell? You are the one who is smart now and you are laughing and you are saying I am the one who is screwed up You believe in this garbage and you are telling me you are the smart one uh, I'm just saying you really you call a lot the devil and such things but Allah will give you uh, what you deserve trust me no problem you know I'm waiting for yes. Allah I'm waiting for Allah to give me what I deserve but now you need to explain to me how in the world you Muslims believe in such a garbage Suleiman he have a flying yes. carpet carry all his kingdom ship yes okay and this is something you believe in strongly with no hesitation very very strong okay what is what 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 make you believe that this is a true story? Because it's in the Quran. So just because it's in the Quran, you believe in it. So if it's not in the Quran, you don't believe. No. Hmm. And where is the flying carpet right now? It's gone. What happened? I don't know. Did your Quran tell us where who took it, who hide it? Did Allah take it back? Yes, I think. I think yes. Allah, he took it back. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Do Suleiman have a flying horse too? No. No. I, what I no. what I know that Suleiman he slaughtered his horse, and this is why Allah he gave him the flying carpet instead. It doesn't mean that it's a flying horse. Ah, so what it was? A horse that was uh, running fast. Ah, okay. Well, there's no the Islamic books it says that. But look here with me. It says that this flying carpet can go to a distance of one month. Why one month? Why not two months? Do you know? A distance of what? The distance, the distance of this uh, flying carpet, it goes to fly for one month. One month journey. So it's Where? morning. It's morning was a month journey. And it's afternoon, it's a month journey. So by noon time, so you so if you go at 6 a.m. in the morning, you arrive to a distance of one month journey. Yes. And when you come back by afternoon, you pass you pass a one month journey as a distance. Correct? Oh uh, yes. Why it's very slow. Uh I'm not following you. Sorry. Well, if 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 the flying carpet is going in a month journey, this is a journey of a camel. Uh, do we know the distance? It doesn't matter. It says one month journey, and the Arab at that time they they measure the distance by either walking or their camels, right? Yes, so when right. I say when I say I I, I uh, it's it's a it's a month from here, I'm talking either I'm walking or I am taking like an animal, right? Yes, but Suleiman is going from where to where? Doesn't matter. So this flying yeah. carpet, it takes six hours to reach one month journey. Why it's so slow? Slow? Yeah, it's very slow because simply, uh, you know, we are talking about something fly. Why something fly? And this is the flying carpet of Allah. It's so slow. So, uh, no, it's it's good. Okay, let me let me tell you. Uh, uh, airplane, airplane, 
uh, as an example, if you want to go across uh, from California to uh, New York, I think it take about six hours. I'm not sure. So this is exactly what yes. what the Quran is saying. So, but this is, does not take a month, does it? It's a one month uh, journey. No, I'm saying the, the, the journey of the flying carpet is very slow. Why is going to take you a month? Why this flying carpet is a flying, yet it's so slow? Because it's in six hours in order to understand the distance. How we can do that? We have the time. We have the time. And then uh, we, uh, we have the road, let us say, where he will go. According to this, the story, so the man he used it to fly with his army from Jerusalem all the way to Yemen. Yes. Okay. Does it really take a month to go by a flying carpet from Jerusalem to Yemen? It doesn't say uh fly it doesn't say that it takes a month, it's just it's a journey. But the no, flying no, the whole chapter talking about him going to Yemen, going to yes. Sheba to the Queen of Queen of Sheba, you know, Balqis. And the women should have no hair in her legs. She have nice ass, etc. So, yes. uh, I'm happy that Suleiman he found the women. She have nice ass, by the way. But here, yes. so the the flying carpet fly a distance of a month. But yes. he's just flying from Jerusalem to Yemen. So Allah is measuring the distance wrongly. Uh, when you go with a camel or you walk, then it takes a month. It take well, a month to go from from uh, from Jerusalem to Yemen. Take a month. Why? If you walk, yes. Okay. Well, what is the distance between between Yemen and Jerusalem? Let us let us open uh, uh, Google Earth, and everybody will see. Uh, why? 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 What do you mean? Why? I want I want to measure it. I want to see what is the distance between Jerusalem and Yemen. And then we will find if, if, if the flying carpet of Allah have a, have a problem in the engine, maybe it's not working fine because it doesn't make sense. This is uh, this is Google Earth. I will open it. All right. And now we will go to Saudi Arabia. So now, if we want to go from Saudi Arabia, my friend, do, do you see Africa? My friend, well, yeah, no, no, see, wait, 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 wait. Do you see no, Africa? What left. Africa? What Africa? Go on the left, uh, upside down. What Africa? What Africa? No, hold no. on, hold on. This is this is Jerusalem here. Yes, yes but no, no. no. Okay. I want to tell you one thing. This is Jerusalem. On the direction from here. Direction from here. Okay, and then I will go to Yemen. And this is Sana'a. Yes. To here. All right. The distance is 2,485 kilometer. All right, so what's the problem? Hmm. What is the speed of the camel? Can you check in Google? I don't know, man. Right, I'll check. What is the speed of the camel? If we can find the speed of the camel, we can divide the distance, which is 2,485 to the speed it's uh, 65 kilometers in an hour the camel can can uh, can uh, go 65 this is faster than a car no it's 65 kilometers in an hour it, it says here what is that what do you mean this is this is by, a, my friend uh, this is by the car here this is a car if we want to go by walking here by google if we say walking that will be 739 hours do you see it Yes. Okay. Seven hundred thirty-nine hours. How many? 
days will be let us let us see this is if you are walking so 739 divided to 24 that is exactly 30 days correct yes okay so now we have 30 days if we are walking 24 hours a day yes but that is impossible right how many hours we stay up during the day 16 hours we sleep eight hours right yes okay so now in order to get the answer for this we have to say okay we are going to have 16 hours that would be 46 days to pass correct yes okay but this is by walking and the Arab don't go by walking they go by the camel correct yes okay yes. is the camel faster of uh, the human or he is a slower it's faster okay what is the speed of the camel so we can measure it says 65 kilometers in an hour the 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 camel uh, he he goes 65 kilometer an hour yes really did you search that yes let me see that that would be very fast actually it says uh yeah speed up actually this is if he run but he cannot keep this is if he's running you know the cameras don't run when they uh, go travel they will they they will they will be exhausted in in, in 15 minutes so this is not this is the maximum speed so let us say the average uh the average let us see here speed up okay uh, camel racing this is camel racing so this is if the camel is racing but this is some, something can can handle for a few minutes not for long uh, but if a camel he want to go how we can measure exactly how long it take the camel to okay let us see camel walking speed let us see i will search on google not running speed okay it is 16 uh, kilometer as you see here okay well, hold on the maximum speed achieved by a camel is I don't know see they are giving wrong information here here I see different thing look I why does it matter so much running because we are trying to discover running world rise, rise transportation that make only dairy etc okay here it says uh speed of 16 kilometer uh 10 miles okay in caravans it make it make 30 to 40 kilometers so if they are going in caravan it's going to be 30 to 40 kilometer all right 30 to 40 kilometer an hour this is the speed this is the average speed yes. it says per day with an average uh, of age three to five kilometer per hour that's very slow if they are not walking normally okay maximum speed achieved by the camel is a 25 kilometer which is 16 mile per hour okay so now if we calculate those numbers we will find that the flying carpet is slower than the camel Mm, no okay because okay let us see you just say you are the one wait, who said it, aren't you the one who said to me that the speed according to you is 65 mile per hour oh uh, yeah but okay. it's running all right so here if we go and take the car speed the car distance we will car. find this Re read, uh, watch with me yeah but doesn't the quran say that it's my friend uh, hold on, hold on. i will go with you if if the if the speed is 65 uh, uh, kilometer by hour, as you said to me, oh, that no, is going to take 28 hours, 28 hours, they, and 55 minutes. Yeah, but they get tired. Okay, so we give them break. So what yeah, we will do? What we will do? What we will do? For sure, they, they cannot really. They cannot keep walking. You are right. So what we will do? We will say they are walking for 16 hours. Is that okay? 
Yeah, okay, but uh, okay. the answer is that it's only afternoon. Okay, to, uh, 16 hours. Right? If we if we divide now the 28 hours to 16 hours, how many days that will be? We say 16 hours. Would we say 20, uh, uh, 28 hours, and divide yes. them to 16 hours a day? Yes. That will be a day and almost uh, less than two days. So it's fast. No, the camel is fast. The flying carpet is so slow. The flying carpet, it took him a month ago. No, no. In the Quran, it says that it's a, uh, it, it, it took uh, from morning to the uh, evening. I know, but this is a distance. Okay, hold on. Okay, from mor from morning to a, a, a distance. The morning, uh, this is the morning, which is six hours, right? Yes. Okay. So how many times the flying carpet is faster than the camel, based on this? Uh like 30 times what do you mean 30 times we are just having two days here a, a day one day point 75 which mean uh, 24 hours let us say that will be 17 hours uh, sorry uh, um, one day 24 and then like it's like 36 hours okay so if we say 36 hours and we divide it 36 and we say we divide it to six hours. That means the flying carpet is six times faster than the camel. Is that correct? Uh, no, yes, yes, but okay. uh, it's it, it just on, six hours. But hold on, but hold on. Yeah. This is if, this is if the flying carpet is reaching the distance of one month. Yes. Okay, but we found now that the distance of the camel in in one day in two days he can reach from Yemen to Damascus correct yes okay so the Quran is calculating wrong numbers because how it take one month to go from Jerusalem to Yemen by camel when this is take only two days maximum it, it's talking about uh if you walk then it, it's the death. no problem he will go i will oh, so what, what if you walk uh, the camel is walking the camel is but, walking yeah but doesn't it say a distance of walking my friend the camel is walking it take him 28 hours and 55 minutes all yeah. right so why Allah is saying that the distance between Jerusalem and the distance uh, to to Yemen it take one month and it took Suleiman six hours yes because he's on a flying carpet I know but Allah is getting the wrong number about one month it doesn't take from Jerusalem to Amman one month it take the camel only 28 hours with the camels yeah and in, in, in which uh, speed uh, did you measure it it doesn't matter the average speed the average speed which speed you see, how many we, we my friend look what we did we said here you are the one who said to me i asked you what is the speed of the camel you said to me 65 mile an hour correct yeah but uh, that's okay. when they're running they, okay. they get the speed tired. is the, sp the speed is this is this is this is google always make it the maximum speed which is allowed by the law and this is about 65 mile an hour in all countries you know the average and Jordan actually Jordan and Saudi Arabia they have exactly the same as in USA because they are American system so the total is maximum is 28 hours why Allah in Quran he calculate the number says it's going to take you a month so you measure it so <clears throat> You measured the speed in 65 kilometers, right? You are the one who told me the camel go in a speed of 65 kilometer, correct? Uh, that's only when they're running. Only if they are running. Okay, if they are walking. And that's very slow. Okay. That will be uh, almost a month, correct? Yes. But this is for a human being walking. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
anyway I mean we are discussing about something at the end of the day it's silly because who in the world want to believe in flying carpet if it's goes in the speed of a month or not now yeah, I might uh, I might leave right now you, why you were flying carpet waiting for you no uh, can you do uh, one thing for me uh, no I cannot uh, my flying carpet is not here now sorry uh, I, can't, I can't I can't bring anything for go, you. Uh, go to the ma uh, map of Africa the map of I, I closed Google already sorry no, it's not closed. I see it. No, it's closed already. I close it. Uh, too late. You just, know, the video is coming. Is coming late to you. What What do you want about the map of Africa? Just go. You uh, tell me what do you want about the map of Africa? Can you just go. I'll show you. Why well, close it now? Here in front of us, we see that Shaitan they work for Suleiman and they die for him. Do you agree with that? Where does it say that? In the Quran. Women as shayatina man yagusuna lahu and from the shaitans who die for him. Do you really believe that shaitans he worked for Suleiman as full time job in order to bring him pearls and jewelries? Is that what the Quran said? Yeah, the Quran it's in front it of you. It's just what is it just what the translators added? No, the Quran the says and shaitan were uh, uh, were some who died for him. This is the Arabic women as shayatin. Okay, so is this an uh, interpretation? No, in the in the Quran it says that Shaitan died for him. This is this is Quran. This is not interpretation yet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Do you believe in that? Yes. Why Shaitan are diving for Suleiman? Is it uh, Suleiman? So. Why did it not die for your prophet? Because uh, they, Muhammad didn't get in this type of uh, situation. What situation? Of this, of what uh, Suleiman has. You know, if we go in the Quran, we will find Allah making verses saying he is begging for money, asking people to give him a loan. Yeah. Okay. You agree, right? Yes. Okay. Allah asking for a loan. And this is the God of Muhammad, but isn't it the God of Muhammad is the same God uh, of uh, of Muhammad, the God of Suleiman? Yes. Okay. How come the God of Suleiman, he have Satan diving and getting him jewelries from the sea, but Allah, he need to beg you for money and donation. Can't he make the shaitan die for Muhammad somewhere and bring him jewelries and get rich? Uh, because there were no jewelry in the sea in the time of Muhammad. Ah, there's no jewelries in the time. Uh, I was wondering why. I mean, I thought, okay, so at the time of Muhammad, all the jewelries in the sea, they are gone. Yes. Mm, I see. Okay. No, now, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Uh, so, uh, they were not gone, but uh, there weren't many uh, jewelry, right? It mean? was just small amount, and that's what the shaitan took out. Oh, so the shaitan because, he took it all of it yeah. from the sea in the time yeah, of Suleiman. He took it all. Suleiman, he no, took no, it no. all. Never mind. No, tell me, I'm, I'm trying to listen to you. No. Uh, explain to me. No. Go ahead. People was, are listening. I was confused. I was confused of saying. Of you saying that a human died in the sea, I was confused. No, no, I said the shaitan, human, the verse, my friend, yeah, the verse says yeah, that shaitan, uh, shaitan, he died for Suleiman, as you see. This is verse in the Quran. And that the shaitan, they die for him and they bring him what? To retrieve pearls and jewels. Okay. Allah in the Quran, he begged Muslims for donation, saying, Give me a mortgage, give me a mortgage. If you give me a mortgage, I'll forgive your sin. Why Allah don't ask, give Muhammad the power? To order shaitan or Allah himself ordered the shaitan to die for Muhammad in the Red Sea and bring him all the jewelry is there you know Muhammad doesn't want to uh, uh, Muhammad doesn't want to be uh, rich you know ah, when, but Allah the Quran you see the Quran saying Allah is asking the Muslims please make a donation for me I need a mortgage don't you see my friend yeah Okay, yeah, but so that's mean he need money. That's it's obviously he need money. He's asking people to he's begging people for a loan. Allah, he need a loan. He says, 
ومن ومن يقرض الله قرضا حسنا who is going to give Allah a good loan right so Allah yes. is desperate trying to apply for a loan and nobody approving him so why yes. Allah the same God supposedly of Muhammad is the same God of Suleiman don't make the shaitan die for Muhammad and give him the loan you know how Muhammad is when uh, angel Jibril was with Muhammad mm. an, angel, uh, an angel came down from the heaven mm. and he said to Muhammad do you want to uh, be? Do you want to live like a king, mm -hmm. or do you want to live like, uh, like, you know, how you live now in a desert poorly? Mm -hmm. And Muhammad decided to pick like uh, to live in a desert poorly with. Uh, yeah, but my friend, but this is not about Muhammad. It's Allah who is begging for money. Oh, okay, okay, so we read it. Read it, my friend. It's Allah. Allah. Here, here. If you lend Allah a good loan, not lend Muhammad. It says if you lend Allah. So Muhammad, he liked to live in the desert. No problem. Allah now is saying, please, please give me a loan. Do you see it? What, the, what does a loan mean in English? A loan is a loan, you know, a mortgage. What does it mean? You, you borrow money from somebody. So Allah is saying here, give Muhammad money. Hmm. He's saying, I, I believe that this is what will happen here. Muhammad is fabricating verse saying that Allah said, so if you give it to Muhammad, you are giving it to Allah. So now Muhammad claimed that Allah is asking the Muslims to give Allah a loan. Yes. Yes. Why Allah need them alone? Allah, he can send the same shaitan. He gave them to Suleiman to die for him in the sea and he can sell the jewelries. He can get, take them to New York, sell them in anywhere, any jury, and any Jewish will buy them from him right away. Uh, maybe because there was no uh, jewelry in the sea, right? Maybe that. So in the time of Muhammad, there's no juries in the sea. Yes. But isn't it Allah? Okay. Juries of the sea is uh, shaitan. He took them from uh, of the sea and he gave them to Suleiman, correct? Yes. Can't Allah find where they are located? Can't Allah find where they are located? Yeah, because they are—they did not go. They did not go. I mean, Suleiman is dead now, so they are somewhere. Can't Allah find where is the jewelry is there, and He can send the shaitan to bring him to Muhammad, or to him? But there's no uh, jewelry. What do you mean? There's no jewelry. The jewelry is He gave them to Suleiman, correct? Oh, so He needs to take it off uh, Suleiman. Okay, the the jewelry which was Suleiman, uh, Suleiman is dead now. He do not need them. Don't no, Allah don't Allah knows where the jewelry are? Yes, but uh, he's not gonna say take it. Why? Why would he say that? But because Allah, he needed. He's begging for money. He said, "I need a loan." Don't you see? Allah is no. really in a, in a very bad shape. He need money. <laughs> no, yeah, he's not begging. You know. No, he's, he's begging. Asked. He is begging. He says, "Who give Allah a loan?" No, yes, but is is that begging? Yeah, it's about money. Who Allah he want you to give him money. Yeah, you asked uh, you're not very intelligent, uh, sorry man. Well, really? Okay, why? Explain to me why I'm not uh, intelligent. Because you are uh, you are you are kind of uh, deceiving, you know? Why? For example, when you say to a Muslim, Allah split the moon uh, for uh, for the uh, and uh, the judgment day is near hmm. and the moon hasn't split hmm. well first of all the moon split was only for the Meccans to see and when the Meccans turned away from the sign that's when Allah brought the moon back together because it was only for the Meccans to see okay so you're saying and, Allah he, he glued the moon together oh it was only for the Meccans to see when they turned away Allah put them back only together. for Mecca only Mecca only Mecca only Mecca yes because it was for Muhammad but why only like uh, do, you, do you think the moon only is visible in Mecca or there's only a moon made only for Mecca? No, oh, I'm saying that the uh, miracle was to show for the Meccans. Hmm. Yeah, according to you, what you said to the Muslims, you said that Allah will keep the moon split until day of judgment, but that's false. Hmm. So this is this is a miracle happened only for people of Mecca to see. Did the people of yes. Mecca saw it? Yes, and they said. Uh, so why did they not they believe in it then? Because uh, they didn't want to believe. They were following their own desires. Mm, but that's mean. This is something normal happening. It's it's called the eclipse. What? 
What happened is, is, is the eclipse. It's just the eclipse. There's no dead zone. The, the Arab, this is why the Arab here, this keeps saying to Muhammad, this is nothing but the fabulous of uh, uh, ancient people. Do you see? My friend, do you, do you know what the difference is between an eclipse and a moon split? No, tell me, what is different? Because the moon is uh, split. That's, that's different. Mm -hmm. How do we know that the moon is split? What does that mean? What do you mean? Describe to me what happened in the moon split. What happened? It it really uh, split uh, two parts. Two parts. Okay. Through. Yes. But if the moon is split two parts, that means the moon became two moons. Yes. Okay. But if the moon became two moon, the moon will be destroyed, and one part will be hitting the earth at least. No. Because the size but of the moon, what 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 keeping the moon in certain orbit is its weight and its size, its size as you know together. So if we change the size, the moon will not stay there. No, it's by the power of Allah. Oh, so Allah, He holds the two sides together next to each other. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now, where in the Quran it says that Allah is the one who split the moon? In the chapter fifty-four. No, it doesn't say that. It says the the, the moon. It says the moon split. It doesn't yes. say Allah He split anything. It's uh, Muhammad went to Allah for uh, to ask him that. And Allah gave him permission. Where? Where it says that? Here we go. Read with me. This is the chapter of the moon, the moon chapter. The hour has drawn near and the moon is split. Do you see it? Where it says that Allah has split the moon. This is what I mean. Why are you being so in, in uh, you're you're not uh, intelligent, my friend. My friend, I am not. I'm not. No problem. Uh, can you show me where in the Quran it says that Allah is the one who split the moon? It doesn't say that. All what it says, Allah is saying that he saw the moon split. And this is the judgment day is near. It's Allah who saw it. Allah, Allah, Allah didn't uh, saw it split. Allah split it. Where it says that? You know, Can you show me? Can you show me in the Quran where it says that? No, but uh, this is really stupid logic of you to say. Mm -hmm. Because okay. uh, if imagine if this was in your in the Bible, mm -hmm. no, I would say, uh, yeah, it doesn't say uh, God split it. Mm -hmm. What? What? What, uh, what kind of a? Uh, Stupid thing is that because you know according to your uh, religion i mean there's many many creatures they have a lot of uh, power they can do things nobody can do as an example uh, uh genies uh they can uh, fly and bring a kingdom in a in a in a, in a, a blink of an eye have you ever heard of about the afrit in the quran no you don't know what afrit is no Okay. I have a feeling that you are uh, laughing. Oh, are you sure? Chapter twenty-seven, verse number thirty-nine. It says that Afrit. They hear the translation. They say genie, but Afrit is a genie. But he is a very special genie. He's very fast. It's very tricky. Very tricky. It's very fast. Afrit from the among the jinn. He said to Suleiman, "I will bring it to you before you rise from your place. Look how fast he is. He will go." And he will bring the throne, which is many buildings high, of the Queen of Sheba, and like the speed of this, like eh, blink of an eye. How Afrit can do that? It's by the permission of Allah. Why he's so fast? I mean, did you notice that we were talking a second ago that it takes Suleiman a month to go with the flying carpet, but Afrit, no. Afrit no. can take him a, a, a blink of an eye to bring it to go there and come back, which means. This is round trip. Before you blink your eye, Afrit can go there and come back. Why he's so fast? Because uh, he uh, uh, wishes it, or it's uh, maybe it is a metaphor. Maybe. No, it's not a metaphor. We can go and see the interpretation. You want you to go there and see the interpretation? No, no. Why Never not? Mind. Twenty-seven, thirty-nine. Let's see the interpretation. 27. Uh, no, 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 no. Twenty-seven. Because yeah. you know we I, we like the, you know we like fairy tale story. Um, my friend, I uh, I need to go. You know. All right, you can go. No problem. We continue with some Muslim else. He is yeah. more. He is more afraid than you. We need another yeah, afraid yeah. now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Take care. Uh, can you? Uh... Just go. This afraid he give up. We need another afraid. We need another afraid. Okay. So chapter 27, verse number 39, as you see. Uh, 
let us see the story of the Afrit. And as you see, this is the story about the uh, the throne of Balqis. Balqis is the queen of Sheba. You will see here, they are talking about her throne, how her throne is amazing. Then she issued command that her throne, which was made of gold and inland, in light with the rubies, uh, chrys chryslet and pearls should be placed in blah 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 several rooms within the others run doors blah 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 so it's very hard to get there i mean this is very very you know then Suleiman he said oh chief which of you can bring to me her throne so the man he want to steal it he's a thief who want to bring me this uh, throne okay afrit who is an obedient muslim as you see he is an obedient muslim afrit He's a genie, but he is a very, his name is Afrit, he's different. He's kind of a very fast genie. And Afrit from the jinn said, Mujahid said, a giant jinn is very, very huge. Abu Saleh said, it was, uh, he uh, was a mountain. If, 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 if he was a mountain. It will I will bring it to you before you rise from your place Ibn Abbas said before you get up from where you are sitting like imagine how fast it is this guy he will go and bring that throne which is so huge as fast as that then he says he used to sit to pass judgment and ruling over the people and to eat from the beginning of the day until noon if 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 I mean that's amazing I, I, I have no comment I will leave the comment for you uh, do we have any uh, any other Muslim when I talk about the Afrit as you see until now we did not notice any fictions in the Quran and all those stories must be true stories I mean you have to be stupid to, to think there's fictions there How many of you feel like you want to convert to the religion of the Afrit? This is Af this is a Muslim Afrit. He's a giant Afrit. Who want to take Shahada? There's no Afrit but Allah. And there's no Allah but Afrit. Yes, and the Muslim believe that those are true stories. What are you telling me? This is, for sure this is a true story. Don't you watch cartoon? You never watch a sin a Sinbad? You did not watch Sinbad. So how you watch Sinbad and you don't want to watch the Quran? Why nobody contact Netflix and tell them to make a series about the Quran? It's called Quran Sinbad. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us that the Arab, when they heard the Quran, they were astonished. My friend, the Arab, they were laughing at the Quran. All the Quran says that the Arab they were saying to Muhammad, This is nothing but stupid stories. As you see, all those verses in the front of us, they all saying the same thing. It's a fairy tale of stories. Look how many times the Arab they said that to Muhammad. So when the Muslim they say the Arab they were astonished, the fact the Arab they were laughing at him. Not only that, how many times the, the Muslim they say to you that Allah, he challenged the Arab to make Quran like this, correct? Was the Arab saying we cannot? No. Read this verse. Chapter 8, verse number 31, it says, this is nothing but the fairy tale stories, and if we want, we can make the, make the same. Do you see it? When our signs, which means supposedly the, the Quran, are recited to them they say we have heard already if we want we too can say like this there are nothing but the myth of the ancients do you see it so they lie to us and they say the arab who live at that time brother the arab who live at that time they were astonished what are you talking about they are laughing at the quran
imagine somebody he says something to me I say this is stupid and then the Muslim they say to us they were amazed how stupid it is because when you say they are amazed it's mean they are amazed how stupid it is by saying that this is nothing but the myth fairy tales it's mean they are laughing at you right do we have any Muslim here would like to say something to us about the Arab making fun of the Quran and saying this is nothing but fairy tale stories as as you see and actually if we go over the Quran we we just quote for you a few stories nothing this is not even one percent of the stupidity of the Quran all the Quran is nothing but a myth it's it is written in the Quran that you can control somebody by blowing some wind in the knot you make a knot like a tie the one you wear in your neck and then you blew in it and this is how you can control somebody and Allah he taught the Muslims how to fight such a magic say say I seek protection of the Lord from the evil what he has created by the way who he they are talking about Allah so I seek Allah protection from his evil <laughs> do you notice the stupidity here Allah saying I seek protection from the evil of Allah did you notice Allah saying I seek protection from the evil of Allah which are he created Allah created evil and Allah seeking protection from the evil which he created good one then and from the evil of the dark night when it falls and from the evil of the witches who blow on the knot this is regard me remind me of uh, Mimi hijab when he said to David Wood <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm God now <laughs> and from the evil of the invoice when they invade in, in, in invades invades I'm saying the word correctly guys I don't know I'm, I think I'm saying it wrong hold on hold on as usual sorry English is not my first language as you know I am illiterate like the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Envy. Envy, envy. Envy by itself, envies by if it is a, a pearl. All right. So Allah is terrified. There's witches who control us by blowing in the knot. <laughs> by the way, to be honest with you, Muhammad he said many many true stories and I I think I, I am I am convinced as an example I felt I told you two days ago I took a shower and I noticed there is water in my ears do you remember I told you and I was wondering because we Arab we are very smart how the water came to my ear how the water come to my ear I could not find a solution what I did I ate I took a shower where is the water coming from does it make sense I mean we Arab we don't take a shower with water so I, I start searching for the truth and always I find the truth in the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then I found that it is shaitan who did pee in my ears for sure this is true this is not fiction it's a proven by science hello are you talking to me I, I hello I hear you. I don't hear you. I call me. In, don't call me now, please, because Shaitan he did pee in my ears. I mean, how we can deny such a knowledge and such a true stories? Actually, if you think about it, let, let me try to explain to you, Christians, who they are naive. I mean, I'm really, I'm really. Are you sorry? I feel sorry for you, honestly, those Christians. If you look at the shape of the ear,
the shape of the ear. Look at this. Doesn't look really like a toilet seat for you? Unbelievable. And now this is telling me how the shape of the ass of Shaitan is. And uh, and then he inserts his penis and he pissed there. How the prophet he come to such a conclusion that Shaitan he pissed in our ears. Unless he is a truly prophet of God. You see, we can go in denial against the amazing teaching of the prophet and we can keep saying that he is not a prophet but all statement of the prophet lead to rome so beautiful very knowledgeable sometimes i feel like it is really astonishing We have a guy he want to talk his name is Hamza I don't think your name is Hamza all right can you tell me there is Muhammad in Arabic no I think this is Gigi Gigi let us hear Gigi Gigi so don't you want to hear Gigi Gigi? Hello? Yeah, hello. Gigi Gigi with me? No, my name is Hamza. Your name is Hamza. Okay, yeah. Hamza, how I can help you? Yes, uh, I want to talk with you with what, whatever, which topic you want. Well, I'm talking about, I'm uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, fairy tales and the Quran. Yeah, this is no problem, no problem, because I'm a scholar. If you want to have some questions. You are a scholar? Yes, I'm a scholar from from Germany. You are a scholar from Germany. Okay. Yes. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, no, only my mother, but I I can read. No so your mother is the scholar in Arabic, and you are the scholar in Islam. Yes. Oh, so okay. I I got. It. Okay. The prophet in the Quran he said that uh, Shaitan he was diving. Oh, sorry. There's a there's a Shaitan here. His name is Afrit. Afrit, Afrit. I see, I see, I see on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this Afrit, yeah. his job is to bring things very fast to Suleiman. Yes, absolutely. You agree with that? I'm agree. Okay, what is Afrit according to you? As long as you are a person who is a scholar, you can ask G -G 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 if you want. You can ask Gigi Gigi if you want. Yeah, Gigi Gigi. You know, I know from the first second, I see your IP, you idiot. We are just want to laugh at you, you are a stupid donkey. Idiot. I have your IP in front of me, you donkey. Stupid. Just want to laugh at you. I feel sorry for your mother. Do we have any Muslim? Additional to the stupid Gigi Gigi. Any Muslim? Anyway, you notice that this is a very stupid cult. And you notice that the Muslims they have nothing to say. And you notice now that whoever believes in such a garbage, he have to be mentally ill. Do I need to convince you more that Islam is nothing but a stupid fiction? Collection of fairy tale stories is not even good for kids. Hmm? No, he create uh, he create a new account. No, I saw him. I saw his IP. I called him. I, how are you, G G G Before even he called, <laughs> I have his IP. This donkey. We are. We sometimes we need some entertainment just to laugh. Do we have any Muslim here would like to say something to us about the madness and the stupidity of the Quran, which they claim it is the book of science?
science teach you that if you blow in the knot, you can control somebody. Who is a Muslim when I control me? By blowing in the knot, so I will not open my chat uh, for the coming two months. Anyone who want to do that? Muhammad, by the way, himself, according to Muslims, he was controlled by black magic. And I believe Muhammad he is just trying to explain his stupidity. Nothing more, nothing less. Why he is being stupid and fool. So he claimed that somebody he destroyed uh, my uh, ability to think. You know, uh, he wanted trying to say he is not stupid by nature. It is uh, <laughs> black magic. And the Muslims, they have no shame to say that their prophet was bewitched. Anyone? Who is a Muslim who tell us about his bewitched prophet? I'm so glad that you have a prophet you follow he is bewitched if your prophet is bewitched what about the followers Anyone? Nobody? All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going to stay long today. I have to do some shopping and uh, I have an appointment with some shaitan. They will die for me and bring me some jewelries. I mean, why in the world actually a grocery? Why in the world you want to go and, and, and buy grocery? Oh, what you need to be Salamun, and then you can order the shaitan to bring you this grocery from Walmart. You go inside, they bring you the groceries, and they put them in your bag, and bingo, you go home. Actually, I'm going to hire Shaitan. His job is to keep my refrigerator full. And my bank account full. Each time it's empty, he go dive in the bank and he put more money. Yeah, I heard the news about Nigeria and Kenya. My friend, this Islamic terrorism is a problem everywhere. You are not the only one suffer from this. You people have to be united to fight this cult. And to fight the terrorists don't make them intimidate you the whole point of terrorism attack is to intimidate you and to make you bow down in your knee don't let them win they are cowards 
they do attack hotels they attack schools they attack university because they are cowards don't let them win guard your society ask your government to or to, to, or to allow citizens to carry their arms so when a terrorist they go and show up suddenly everybody is ready to fight what happened in many countries that only police carry guns but terrorists they will not come to the police say hey, we are coming here right so society have to arm itself to prevent terrorism for terrorism is not an army coming to you with uniform they are hiding the same as the Lord he says they come to you in a close of a sheep but they are wolves so I advise all society in the world to protect themselves by arming themselves to fight terrorism don't be a criminal like them don't kill innocent but if a terrorist he show up and he start shooting at people you have the right to defend yourself and to defend your people and defend your family and your country all right so I think we have uh, okay I have many requests in Skype everybody asking me to talk about different topic guys we talk about everything we cover everything I mean what I what I can cover more I did not cover until now we talk about Shia we talk about Sunni we talk about everything all of it is garbage Shia and Sunni they are two faces of one false coin it's a false coin it's called Islam and this coin have many faces it doesn't matter really. we talk about Shia or Sunni it's the same garbage uh, anyway so with this i want to say thank you guys for being here i got to go very soon and i hope that we did learn something today feel free to download my videos and share them with your friends so more people will learn about the fictions and stupidity of what it's called quran and the teaching of muhammad who the muslim they claim that he brought an amazing book which in fact nothing but an amazing stupidity and fictions and fairy tales even children's will not even be believing in it this is what Islam is about and nothing more nothing less and if you have a brain use it unless you are stupid thank you very much for watching Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye